throughout August to celebrate HSN's anniversary month. Join me for this two hour show with gorgeous Chaco Canyon jewelry. My name is Helen Keeney. I will be your host. And I've been presenting jewelry here for over a decade, but one of my favorite shows to do is Chaco Canyon. I love this you know, genuine silver, genuine turquoise, and the heart and soul of each artist that are in the pieces. So let me show you some of the pieces that are gonna be coming up in our hour. Starting out with the split shank ring that I have here, available in four different gemstones. You see even the gorgeous howlite, which I haven't seen for a while, plus of course, turquoise and that spiny oyster. The item number is 726567. This is a stackable ring. So you could wear this as a wedding ring. You could get two of them and stack them different colors. You could stack them with like an engagement ring. Um, $18.98 to get home. We have sizes 5 through 12, but I will say that they were limited in some of them already. They're already very, very popular. So wanted to give you a really fun one to start out the show. Also, this is the beautiful flower jewelry in, engraved in genuine ser sterling silver. So look at, look at the amount of silver here in this incredible ring. So the ring is only $51.82, which is amazing when you look at all the all the design work. And you know, let me kind of pop this off because the the design is all the way around. Look at that. Is that not incredible? And these beautiful flowers have been engraved inside the sterling silver. And then there's a necklace. You get the chain, of course, and it's attached here, and it's a bar piece in silver. And that's 121.21. Flex pay is available. We've got three flex pay on everything. And if you have an HSN card, you get an extra flex payment on all jewelry all the time. So let's talk about Chaco Canyon, the brand. Chaco Canyon is kind of like an artist collective. It's a group of artisans that have come together to have a place to display display and present to the public their incredible pieces. And the artisans, you see uh, in them in action, working, a lot of them work out of their home from the get-go, like that's been what they've been doing this whole time. And family, like fa mother teaching son, you know, husband and wife working together. There's Jennifer Wan, she's our guest. And it's this family doing what has been passed down from generation to generation. And the techniques that they use are the same kind of techniques for, you know, for generations, but, also, being aware of like what's happening in jewelry now, which are, with our first piece, and the, that's what, what I'm wearing right now, which is the um, jewelry that has the initial pendant. So if you see now, this is this is B. My daughter's name is Becky, and uh, she's on a plane right now on her way home. I say home is with me, but she believes it's where she goes to college. She's going back to do her senior year of college right now. And whether you wear your own initials or the initials of someone you love, what a great gift for someone. These are also adorned with Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and I could do an entire presentation just on Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It is one of its well, the turquoise that comes out of the Sleeping Beauty mine is the most expensive. It's the highest quality. It's fine jewelry grade. It's that robin's egg blue. But the mine has been closed for a long time now. So anytime you see Sleeping Beauty turquoise in a jewelry piece, it's going to be from somebody who has a private stash of them. Now, at the bottom of your screen are the letters that are available. Sadly, all the letters are not available. I believe H and K were not, <laughs> no longer sold out already. We're, and by the way, when you get this initial pe pendant, just to let you know, the chain is not included. It's just the pendant. But let me bring Jennifer into the show. Jennifer Juan. Hi, Jennifer. It's so good to see you. I know we chatted earlier, but to see your beautiful face. <laughs> I'm so used to having you right next to me. But um, I love this necklace, and it is so on trend. And I know trend aren't what this brand is about, but I love that you guys did this initial pendant. I love this for the fact that what 
it represents. And um, the artist in here is Bucky Boleyn. His father, Richard Berlin Jr., uh, was one of our first silversmiths. And um, so just to honor him, he had, uh, you know, wanted him to have his legacy live on. So he started making initial pendants. And while creating it, he put in the Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and which is the sacred stone. And so for him, you know, he wanted just to share a piece of himself with uh, with customers out there, knowing that you know there's always you're always going to have a piece of your father with you, regardless wherever where you're at, and you'd be you know your paternal father and also you know Father Sky, which is the Sky Stone, you know with you, and so he just wanted to share that gift with everyone else. And I know these are so shiny in the studio, like when, I, when you move, <laughs> it's kind of even hard to see them. But let me let me kind of hold this up like this because. Each, each piece, the stone is in a different location depending on the letter. These are all hand done. So, I mean, it's, these are, have, you know, obviously been polished. You see how shiny they are. But uh, th it's like the B is on, it, it's on this side, the Sleeping Beauty piece. With the letter C, it's right in the middle. You could see that on the form in front of me. So it's not like, okay, that, that's where the stone goes. Okay, I got it. I'm going to have my eyes closed. I'm going to make the rest of these. <laughs> that, that's not how these pieces are made. Jennifer, and I know, of course, you, you are the representative of the artists and you know the love that's put in. And I love that this is, again, what we're talking about, second generation, done exactly the way that they've done. But this is a very modern take. This is a modern, like there's some really uh, interesting, fun pieces that I, I know are not like traditional. And this is one of them. It's, <clears throat> I like the way the artisan's mind work because each and every year we, they come up with something different and unique. And um, so a lot of them are, you know, trending out with their own little style or either something that their father or, you know, family member had taught them. And so that's what we see in each and every piece, you know, the uniqueness of it. And uh, with a piece like this, especially for, you know, the holidays, birthdays that are coming up, you know, this is a great piece to have. Absolutely, and it's brand new. It's exclusive to us here at HSN. I'm sorry if we don't have your initial. We do have a lot of them. Item number 781540. All right, but I do want to say now, Jennifer, this is was not originally in the show, and I was looking at the tray of like everything that Chaco Canyon has, and I am obsessed. My stylist, Megan, who's out on the set, who's <laughs> styling our model with the little tiny cowboy hat ring. Like, what is happening with this? Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Um, I, I think we're going to be able to get um, the price. And actually, I have no idea how much. There it is, one twenty-eight fifty. That is Sleeping Beauty turquoise, and it is actually. Actually, let me take it off because it is so cute. Look at that. Eat, like It's got like little braid around the rim and then a little braid around here. I only have sizes five through nine left in sizing and there's 131 of these. I don't know if you know off the top of your head, Jennifer, who the artist is. The artist there is Annie Spencer. I, I mean... Is this not, didn't you it's, head explode when you awesome, saw this, huh? how cute that is? <laughs> I can't, I can't when even. When I see that, I'm like, do I wear a hat, my cowboy hat, you know, when I present this? Or... <laughs> but it's fun, it's unique, and it's, uh, it's, it's a really, uh, it's a great eye catcher because when you see it from a distance, you think it's a, you know, a solid silver ring. But when you come walking up to the person, it's, it's a cowboy hat. It's like, howdy, ma'am. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even with this hat. The ring is like, uh, I love it. I'm going to keep you updated uh, and let you know if, when it sells out. But we're now going to talk about the earrings I'm, I'm wearing. And I'm, I'm facing you straight on. Turn in my head you always see the full impact of these hammered uh, hoop earrings because they're what's called a door knocker style. So you always see that big chunk of turquoise right in the front. And these are big and bold. This is two and nine sixteenths of an inch. So they're, I mean, this is a big hoop and then a big piece of turquoise right there. And this turquoise, I believe it's a Kingman turquoise. Okay, 20 by 11 inches. We're doing a feature price of 157.27, three flex pay of $52.42. And Jennifer, what I love about these is, it's not like you're constantly fiddling with them to make sure you see like, where's the turquoise? It's like, you just kind of, like it's always front and center because of the way they're door knocker style. So they don't ever twist. 
I, I love these earrings because the you look at the detail on it and um, the way it is made, the artist in here, his name is Jerome Lee. He's been with us for over 30 years, and uh, he and his family work on uh, you know many different pieces together. And so, when you see these earrings, they're not heavy. You know, you you would think that just by looking mm -hmm. at it, but they're light, they're comfortable, and as like you said, you know, they demand attention just like you. They they're always looking forward. You know, <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> <stand> about. <laughs> <laughs> and Jennifer they're, knows they're me. a great conversation piece. <laughs> yeah, they are. I do. I demand attention. I, you know, because I love that the, that the, that the bright, pretty color. I mean, we buy turquoise jewelry because we love to see it on ourselves. We want other people to see it. This isn't one where I'm, you know, like, okay, am I, am I, are they facing the right way? Or I just, I noticed that as I was kind of moving around, they're all like, you always see the turquoise and the piece here is large. Even if it was just this piece right here and, and there wasn't anything else it would be like a large turquoise presence but i love that just facing front and however angle their their door knocker so they face front so they don't they don't turn and twist like this part will always be out it, it's never gonna because this part doesn't twist the way that they're constructed on the back that they won't they're not allowed to spin around see they don't spin around so that when you've got them facing front they always have that big bold like wow look to them so i love it and 52 dollars and 42 cents is your flex pay if you've got um an hsn card you get an extra flex payment you have four months to pay it off so it would be under 40 dollars 39 dollars and 32 cents uh just to let you know but look how pretty these are so pretty on it and by the way there's angie she's our model she's going to be with us for the two-hour show um what do you think of these aren't these great I love these, they're fun, they're contemporary, and um, I like the, the way that it is made because underneath the, the turquoise in the back, it's got a little loop, so it allows the, the, um, the hoop to dangle you know, back and forth, and you still have that movement when you walk around. And um, it, like I said, it demands attention, and when you see this, you, you know, a lot of people are gonna wanna ask for it. <laughs> oh, for sure, where did, they're gonna be like, where did you get those? And you think uh -huh. about $157, I feel like, you know, that's, that's an investment in jewelry, but you could get, you know, plastic and resin and you know kind of like you could get like you know I don't I know that's fun and I have some jewelry like that but I'm saying is this is handmade in the USA by artisans that pu put their whole heart and soul into each one of these pieces which you can feel wearing them and they're just the blue that beautiful blue of the turquoise it's from the Kingman mine which is the only mine in the United States that's still working it's a working American mine it's the only one that's still now Speaking of ring, love my cowboy hat, but I've noticed Angie's ring that she's wearing. This is a heart ring. Look at how beautiful that is. It's also Kingman turquoise on sale for 217.17 down from 249.75. Three flex pay of $72 and 30 nine cents i've sizes five through 12 available and that ring has a again a very big presence what i really like about this is the oxid oxidation of the black underneath the turquoise which makes that beautiful blue turquoise pop and it almost looks like those stones are sort of floating in a pond on this beautiful heart ring this is exclusive to us here at hsn you're not going to see it anywhere else we have a very few of them, and if you get one, you'll be one of the few people in the whole United States that will ever have these. 774-555 is the item number, so those are available. Just kind of give it a little peek, but moving up on Angie's arm, we see that gorgeous uh, cuff. Now, this is also genuine Sleeping Beauty. This is a Zuni cuff bracelet. It is uh, six and a half inches. It fits a wrist six to seven inches. I put it on and I had to, I gave it a little squeeze. It was a little, a little big, but uh, I gave him a little squish. You don't want to squeeze it this way. You always want to squish it this way. But look how beautiful. And look at that turquoise. That is genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise. That color. And this is a great stackable piece too, right, Jennifer? Yes, it is. Uh, the the artisans here are Derek and L Lorelia Chavez. And um, uh, before COVID had you know hit, we used to go over to the the Zuni Pueblo area like every Thursday, and look at different artisans and their wares. And you know, just as a little peek of you know their background, and you can see the reservation in the back. 
and you see the little Hogans that are back there. Uh, a lot of family members during a certain time of the year, they have feasts and um, depending on what time of the year it is, you know, they can have feasts for, you know, to pray for rain to, you know, or for, you know, the kids that are coming up, you know, they just have different celebrations. And uh, these two had work on this cuff and it's kind of like their, um, their, their brand, their, their type of in insignia, uh, the way of the, the way they make their jewelry. It's beautiful. It's be and I'm, you know, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but I'm wondering how everybody's getting their hands on Sleeping Beauty turquoise for this show. <laughs> Right? Right. <laughs> I mean, hard times are coming up, but still, you know, with Sleeping Beauty, you have to make do with what you have. And a lot of the, the artisans, you know, just during a certain time of year, when it's time for them to, you know, share their their little, uh, you know, piece of Sleeping Beauty, that's what they do with their jewelry you know, in hopes that, you know, they can share, you know, their treasures with the, those of you out there. Yeah, that's certainly, I think treasure is the right word because <laughs> what, the, the more you know about turquoise, the more you know that when you see Sleeping Beauty, I mean, I have um, Sleeping Beauty earrings that I got years and years and years ago. And I thought that this is the last chance that I'm ever gonna see. So look at that, there's no matrix. It's that robin's egg blue. And it's just absolutely spectacular. And if you've got this layered with other pieces, it's gonna look fabulous. Look at the silver work too on the side. You can see that it's like a double rope here and each one of those, you know, each detail is gonna be, you know, obviously very, very time consuming, but that bright, beautiful, I mean, when you see, you know, solid gold and turquoise, you're gonna see Sleeping Beauty turquoise, like if, if there's any left. Like, like I said, this is pretty amazing that we have even, like a few pieces with a couple of pieces, you know, with a little bit of mm -hmm. be Like that's the fact that that's even available and this is such a great price for that. So, cause you're, you're not gonna, I mean, when you go to like, you could fly to New Mexico or Arizona and you could go to like the fanciest, you know, boutique and say, let me, let me see, where's your Sleeping Beauty case? It would be like, well, it's back here. We have two things and there's a key and a security <laughs> guard. You know, you know, you, you, you know what I'm talking about, Jennifer? Basically. <laughs> yeah, yes, basically, yeah. I mean, for those of you who've never seen the Sleeping Beauty Mine uh, right now, it's, uh, well, it's located out in the Globe, Miami area. It's closed. But, um, when you, when the sun is setting, when you look at the mountain in, in, in the background, you can see a silhouette of a woman lying on her back with her hands you know, across uh, her chest. And um, this mine has been active for a very long time, but you know it, it closed several years ago. And uh, this little town of Globe, Miami, endured so much within the past year. Uh, they've had fires that consume a lot of their mountainous areas and, uh, but every single time there's some pictures out there, uh, the the town's residents would look at the Sleeping Beauty mine and just look up at her, you know, in hopes that she would, you know, protect the town. And um, I mean, there's a lot of stories out there, but you know, that mine, that particular mine, uh, you know, all these pieces of Sleeping Beauty turquoise, a lot of people, you know, hold dear to them because it means a lot. Yeah, and the quality, the color, I mean, you can see it from across the room, that perfect robin's egg that blue with no blue. matrixing. It's a, it's, a, <laughs> it's a big deal to have that and to have not one stone, not two, but three, four, five, six Sleeping Beauty stones like lined up, almost like a diamond tennis bracelet. This is like the diamond tennis bracelet of Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And how much would you pay for a diamond tennis bracelet? But this really is a fabulous, fabulous price on these. And that's one of, that's what we do best here at HSN is we are directly from the artists, not to a jewelry a jewelry store chain that's in malls that's paying you know ten thousand dollars a month for their rent and then they're advertising and then it's a three hundred percent markup. We're taking it directly from the artisans and so they can make a living and then directly on air. Like there's no middle person really. And Jennifer is somebody who you know represents the collective of artists, like all the artists together and she knows their stories and talks about them. And you know, we've talked about having them, a lot of the artists on air, and a lot of them are just very shy and not really <laughs> into being on TV at all, right, Jennifer? I, I had to wait about five years, I think, before I met the, the artisans. 
And even then they were really shy and very humble. And, um, you know, I had to get that uh, sense of security from them first. And um, so, you know, on the, the, as the years went by, when I would go back and see them, you know, they would smile, the ladies would say hi and, you know, whatnot, and still tease and everything. And especially the gentlemen who are, you know, the silversmiths that mm -hmm. have been there for a very long time. Mm -hmm. They chat with you, they, they sit with you, you know, you have lunch or something. And, you know, it's great. It's great to be sitting with the artisans who make these jewelries. Right, and you guys are meeting Jennifer today, but I will tell you, when I met Jennifer, when you first were working here at HSN, she was very shy. I would say something like, this is a beautiful earring, and she'll go, mm-hmm. <laughs> Right? Because <laughs> yes. you're, you're very shy too. So it's, I, I can understand that. Like you're the outgoing one in the group. <laughs> <laughs> Took me a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so true. That's funny. All right. Now the necklace that I'm wearing, this eagle, like we've got like a whole suite of eagle pieces that I want to show you. Look at how big and bold that is. Isn't that incredible? So you can see the ring that I'm wearing and then we also have a pendant and there are earrings as well. So the ring sizes five through 12, I believe we've got available. And then we also have, and by the way, in the ring, the ring is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, okay? Five through nine only. All right, 10, 11, and 12 just sold out. Sorry about that. So five through nine only in the ring. So that went pretty fast. And then the earrings, I want to make sure, let's see what kind of, it's Kingman turquoise in the earrings. And then, um, and there's how many pairs left, Rob? 90 left. And then it's Kingman turquoise in the pendant, which is two and five sixteenths in the length. And you see at the very top, you see the eagle at the very top. Now this is very uh, I, Americana, but the eagle for uh, Native Americans has a different, has, uh, let's talk about what that means in their culture. Uh, for for the eagle, the eagle is a representation of like a, a spirit and freedom and um, mm -hmm. the ability to uh, make contact with, you know, the ancestors above the heavens. And um, if you've seen a, an eagle up close, they're, they're very powerful creatures. And uh, just standing there looking at them and them looking at you, it's like they can, you know, look into your soul. And so uh, a lot a lot of the artisans, they like to use that, use the eagle's um, symbolism you know, within their jewelry making. And um, because they say that it represents, uh, you know, the different souls of people who have gone on. And if you happen to come upon an eagle feather, they say you should never um, leave it on the ground. You're supposed to hang it up and, you know, let it face the east uh, when the sun comes up. And, you know, you make your blessings with it because it's a, a gift from someone that you've known that, have, that has gone on before. And so, you know, you're supposed to say, say a little prayer for yourself and for everyone. And so a lot of the artisans have little different, uh, little different pieces that they have uh, or a signification of eagle you know, representation to them. And by the way, I am wearing it with a liquid silver necklace in the longer length, the 30 inch length. Um, there, it also comes in an 18 inch length. So I think that's what Angie has on the 18 inch length. So they're a customer pick and these liquid silver necklaces have always been really, really popular. So we will get the item number for that for you. The 18 inch is $97, the 30 inch is 131 and both of course are on flex pay. So it's $32 and 33 cents for flex Flex pay for the 18 inch and the longer 30 inch liquid silver necklace. The flex pay is $43.83. So I know that uh, they're very popular. The wingspan on this, this wide, why don't you have my ruler? So to show you, cause I'm going to show you guys that this, this has got a, uh, fairly you know fairly big wing wingspan and it's one thing to kind of tell you it's another thing to kind of see the, with the, let me see if the, I got this. Let me do it. Let me do it like this like that so you guys can see because this is a, a substantial piece so it's about from kind of the tip of the wing it's about three inches so think about that in a pendant that's pretty that's a very significant size and the height about an inch and a half so thank you for that shot I wanted you guys everyone at home to get an idea and I feel like this is something that maybe 
men and women can wear. I know a lot of the jewelry yeah. that we're doing, right? Uh, uh, men and women both wear them. So this isn't like, this is only for, you know, it's really kind of for everybody, right, Jennifer? Yes, and especially with this, the, uh, the size of the eagle, it's gonna be a unisex piece. The artist in there is Jeremy Del Grito, mm -hmm. and um, yes. he does great overlay designs. And he says that, you know, when he thinks about the pendant, you know, how he's gonna draw it out, he, uh, you know, makes the design, and each piece is hand cut by him. And um, so when you see that, you know, attention to detail, he's an upcoming great artist, and uh, he has a big family uh, and especially who are all silversmiths like Loretta Delgarito and Emerson Delgarito. Yeah, I was going to say and that so, last name is very familiar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and do, I mean, just imagine having that much talent and to think about something and have it come to life, you know, within your hand. And it's just like, you know, they're giving birth each time you know, their babies are going out to, you know, customers out there who will enjoy their pieces. And um, there are actually three different artisans that work on this collection. For the ring, it's Rosie Chi. For the earring is Sadie Jim. And for the pendant is Jeremy Dalgarito. Yeah, when you said that last name, Dalgarito, I thought, I have heard that. And there was a different <laughs> first name. So I know it's like, you know, kind of from generation to generation. It's really amazing. And that ring, FYI, is Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. The stone in the center of it, because that is uh, quite, quite a big deal for that for that so i wanted to mention that i also want to give you the information for the liquid silver necklace so if you have pendants from chaco canyon or any of your favorite designers this is you know one of those staples but these are handmade so it, you, it's hard to tell but these are tiny little bugle beads and then it's strung and then you get multiple strands. I mean, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I mean, there's just like, a, and it's so much together that it just looks like liquid silver. And you can see that even though they're beads, you see how they're long cylindrical beads, I can wrap it because these are just, this is gorgeous the way this is made. And you can see that like, what, like it kind of drips like liquid silver. That's why it's called the liquid silver necklace. And we have two different lengths. This is the 30 inch. The one that I'm wearing is the longer length, but we also do have the 18 inch and that's the one that Angie's wearing. So you can see where that drops. But I like, I like doing the layering where you've got like the um, pendant, my initial pendant here, which can be the one like you wear like all the time. And then you put on your different longer necklaces, longer pieces. So I just wanted to mention that. And it's always a customer pick, like always, always, always. Okay, so now we're gonna continue on to the um, split shank ring. So I'm gonna jump over to that other set right here and we're gonna continue on. Now this comes in different gemstones. It's available in that black and white howlite that you're seeing there, red spiny oyster. It's also available in turquoise and it is Sleeping Beauty turquoise, what you're looking at there but we also have it in ceremonial turquoise. So we have several different ones. And so when you take a look, this band, these are meant to be stackable. So what does that mean? That means that if you're wearing it with, you've got another ring, you can wear it with other rings. If you've got, you take a look at the howlite, if you have like a solitaire stone, not everyone has a diamond as a solitaire stone for a wedding ring, or if you're somebody that does have a diamond and you wanna have like a stackable band for like every day, this is like a really great choice. There's the howlite, you see that black and white, and then I've got all the choices here. Let me just pop them in the frame here. So this is the spiny oyster. You see that beautiful kind of rust color. How light, this is Genuine Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, which also, how are these all the same prices? And this is Ceremonial Turquoise, a green turquoise. So if you have like a suite with green turquoise, wanna match it with a ring. So maybe, it, and let me kind of turn it to the side so I could tell you what the split shank is. There's the shank there. You see how it's split. So instead of, and, and it, again, more work, more detail is more work. And I can take one off and, and then I'll, I'll give you a tour where you see like you've got that split shank here and I'm not actually 100% sure what size this is. Oh yeah, it's my size. But you see how that they these can stack and you can wear a bunch of these at once. And a lot of people really like to stack, stack, stack rings, especially if you, you wanna mix the turquoise. Uh, right, Jennifer, it's kind of like a look. 
adding them, oh, stacking yes. them, you know, more is more. These are the perfect <laughs> rings for, to go with absolutely everything. These are rings actually that <laughs> my aunt would, um, well, I have two aunts that are, would go through my tackle box of jewelry and um, either while I'm at work or, you know, at a ceremony, come back and I'll notice like, oh, I like your rings. You know, I have something like that. Then my aunt will say it. Oh yeah, my my niece, you know, let me wear it, and you know, we're just only for today. I'm like, wait, I'm I'm your only niece. <laughs> so they back see they've been going through my jewelry, and I'm like, they're like, please just let me wear it just for today, and they'll go out and do something, and I have to go literally back to their house to get my jewelry back. But uh, the artisans here are Gloria Wasita and Jamie Johnson, and uh, I love these rings, and just like you said, they go with perfect, uh, just absolutely everything. And you know the the stack and mix part is what I like. And so if you have family members that love jewelry, buy two of these, buy four of these, you know as much as you can because a lot of people are gonna like them. Oh, they're gonna like them. And also, again, you can stack them with other pieces. So mm -hmm. sometimes it's like building a wardrobe of you know turquoise. So if you've got maybe you've got like a really big bold necklace or this bracelet that's gonna be coming up later, you've got something really big and bold. Maybe you want to do like a simpler ring. This would be a good way to kind of like tie that all together if you want to do it in the turquoise. Or you have a lot of the ceremonial turquoise, this green turquoise. You want to do a ring with that. Or maybe you've got like a big ceremonial chunky ring on one hand. And then you put your, this, I have found this, Jennifer, because when I wear my wedding ring, if I've got a big chunky turquoise ring on one hand, and then I put my wedding, you know, band, which has like diamonds around it, it kind of like, oh, now we're fancy again. You know, it's sort of like, mm -hmm. I like that you can exchange your wedding ring for this and then have like a big chunky piece on the other side. And then you're kind of all doing turquoise, but you still have like a wedding band on. Or also, you know, I, my daughter who's 21, she does rings like on different finger, like one on her thumb oh, and yes. one, you know, it's like the kids <laughs> today, you know, it's like, it's a very cool look of like putting them on. And you know, I, I mean, that's any age, but it's a very, very kind of modern way to do jewelry, right? Right. And especially for, uh, for men too, as well, they like pieces of jewelry just like this. Uh, I actually had a customer uh, from my other job. He, I noticed he came in and he had different uh, styles of uh, silver on his fingers and about on his thumb, he had something similar to this, but it was uh, all turquoise, like a thumb ring. And I'm just like, wow, that's something different. And um, asked him about his jewelry and he he said that, you know, there were pieces that his grandmother had left him. So uh, she uh, you know, had recently went on to the next world. So he, you know, wanted to, to honor her by wearing her, her, the pieces of jewelry that was left for him. And so she was figuring, you know, maybe for his future wife, but <laughs> he said, nope, I'm gonna be wearing this jewelry myself. And so it's <laughs> great to see men as well, you know, wear pieces of jewelry just like this. You know, I want you to guess, Jennifer, which is the most popular? The green, the green turquoise. Interesting. It's the Sleeping Beauty. Ah. And my nice. and the reason is I, I I was gonna say that I think the those of you who collect Sleeping Beauty are like wait a minute the Sleeping Beauty is the same price I love the green too I love the ceremonial turquoise <laughs> I'm with you but I I mean how often like we have a many we have several pieces in the show that are Sleeping Beauty turquoise and we're just sort of like tossing them in like they're oh yeah and then there's Sleeping Beauty turquoise uh, like it's a big deal to have it's some like because <laughs> even you know look we talk to other jewelry designers like Jay King who's here like you don't don't see Sleeping Beauty turquoise. The mine is closed. They're very, very expensive. And to have it, if you've got Sleeping Beauty pieces and want to tie your look together, for $18.98 on FlexPay, you can get a Sleeping Beauty turquoise ring. Or maybe you've got a daughter or granddaughter who's <laughs> always admiring your jewelry and you're like, okay, he, I'm gonna start you off with the best. <laughs> I'm gonna get you a Sleeping Beauty <laughs> turquoise ring. Here you go. So, and, and we do, I think we're, we're okay with sizing for right now. We just launched these. These are brand new. I have so many things in the show that are new. This is exclusive to us here at HSN. These were $72.25. We're starting out with an amazing price of $56.94. Item number 72657. All right. Now we're gonna talk about these gorgeous Naja pieces. I have got the earrings that I put on 
the bracelet that I have on, and we also have a, an amazing pendant. So I've got the red spiny oyster or the turquoise, and this is Kingman turquoise in these beautiful pearls. Take a look at that. Is that not, I mean, that is like a real wow piece. Now, I know that this is an investment at $790.25. I will say with all confidence that I know that we have a incredibly competitive price. Like I don't think you can even come near this price anywhere else, but I get that this is, these are all these pieces are the earrings and the pendant. They're all an investment. We are doing flex pay. So you could take three months to pay it off. If you have an HSN card, you could take four months to pay them off with no interest, no fee. We ship with the first payment. So you can get them home and take a look at them. I will tell you that it, they're, I mean, they're something. They're, they're really above and, above and beyond. It really is kind of like a piece of a lifetime. So Jennifer, tell us about the Naja jewelry. <laughs> um, right now, I just want to reach through the cameras and just, you know, <laughs> touch all of that. <laughs> um, with the Naja pieces, uh, these pieces were made by Zeta Begay, and uh, she's been doing silver work since she was in her early 20s. Now she's in her 50s. Her and her husband, uh, they uh, cut each turquoise, turquoise piece by hand and everything is hand soldered and hand done by them. And um, so when you see these pieces, a lot of them are used for ceremonial purposes. But when, uh, when you look at them nowadays, a lot of people are starting to wear their jewelry out a lot more because, you know, we just gone through a whole mess of things mm -hmm. and, you know, the, they just want to, you know, uh, honor, the, honor the sky stone, honor the father sky. And so they wear their turquoise proudly. And so they want to share a piece of their her heritage and history and, you know, for the HSN customers. And so for those of you who don't know about the Naja, the Naja was uh, actually seen on um, the Spanish conquistadors horse bridles and uh, it was adorning the horse's forehead. So a lot of the Navajo people seen that and used that within their jewelry making and started using it for you know their necklaces and pendants. I love all these stories, so fascinating. I do have an update. If you want the Naja earrings in the turquoise, there's 10 pairs left. If you want the spiny oyster, did you say that there was one pair less, Rob? I th okay, one pair left in the red spiny oyster, I believe. So there's only, what, so it's obviously last call on both of them. So, so we have 10 in the turquoise choice and then there's only one pair left here. And I know that this, again, it's brand new, it's exclusive. It certainly is a treat yourself moment. And th that's really spectacular looking. Love that. All right, so we're gonna continue on to the flower pieces. Okay. I'm going to get up and go over there. And they're already popular. We did like a little preview and you are already loving the ring. So it, we're losing sizes already. And let me tell you something about this ring. I would size up if you are, um, because their size is five through 12. It is a cigar band style and it's a little bit wider. So if you're like a half size, I'm like six, six and a half. I would do the seven in this. So I just, I just want everybody to know when you've got a cigar band style and it's like a thicker, then I think I would automatically have in my head to, to go to the next size. But this goes all the way to 12. And what I love about this piece is the artwork is all the way around. So when I turn it, you see, look at that flower. Look at it. Wouldn't it be amazing if like just that was the ring? but you, it goes all the way around. Like this is pretty incredible. And this is like a fun piece, like no matter where you're putting, this one's a little s small for this. That's why I'm telling you to size up when you get in the cigar band styles, but really gorgeous. And then the necklace, let me kind of show that. Look at that. Look at that, the silver work on this. Tell us, tell me about the artist here, Jennifer. The artist there is Arthur uh, Brugman. He's new to our team. And uh, this is the first time we're doing an engraved pendant like that. And so it just, he had started out with us on, and just started working with our other artisans. And um, so this is the first time we're doing this. We're bringing this to HSN. And uh, so 
he's very excited, you know, for any orders that he gets in hopes that, you know, maybe he can come up with more designs as we as he goes along and just to continue to bring in HSN customers to, you know, Chaco Canyon. I love it. Um, necklace is one twenty one twenty one. We've got three flex pay. The ring is fifty one dollars and eighty two cents. The ring is already very popular, so it is going very quickly. Do we still have five through twelve, Rob? Do we have all the sizes in the ring? Because I, I am definitely recommending that you size up if you're between sizes, or if you're like, oh, I'm not sure if I get to seven or an eight. I, I would get the higher size. The the silver work tell me how do they go about doing all that oxidation and the carving this this must take a very labor intensive this may take a long time to create this one the artist in here is raymond yazi and um he's very well known for his you know scroll work his his silver work and um something like this is very you know time consuming and just like how you would uh, someone would do the inlay work for him each and every piece is hand stamp and hand cut. So that includes the flowers, that includes, you know, the little, you know, uh, dot, dotted pieces that are around there. Everything is cut individually and then it is, yeah, it is all laid out, you know, to be soldered together. So it's, it's very labor intensive, but uh, the artisans, they enjoy doing their work and especially making you know, pieces for HSN. This is a really great layering piece because Angie's got this layered and I just popped this on uh, to layer it. It really, I think it's, I think that's, I, I love the way that you're you're doing that kind of high-low because this is the kind that you could really pop on with everything. I love jewelry that will go with really kind of everything in my wardrobe and whether you're wearing, no matter what pieces that you're wearing, whether it's long pieces with Chaco Canyon or not, I pop this on, that you could always have it and it's, so it's really going to go with everything. It's just so pretty. By the way, the ring, we have fewer than 400. Size love, 6 love, love sold the out. Ring. Size 10 sold out. Size 11 just sold out. So the ring is very popular, going very quickly. Mm, beautiful. The, the When you look at the the work, the workmanship that is on that, uh, the... There's some artisans who actually, um, they'll sit outside, like I said, during springtime, during summertime, any time of the day to uh, soak in what is all around them. There are many different schools now on the reservation. They What they do is they want kids to be more uh, in tune, you know, with mother nature. They would give them, uh, you know, pencils and paper and tell them to sit outside and, you know, draw what you see. A lot of them would, you know, would do cars or either uh, like uh, swings and things like that. But uh, the, what the teachers are looking for is for them to think about Mother Nature. What does she give back to you? Mm -hmm. And then so as they go on during the day, their uh, their workmanship changes and it changes into flowers and you know little kids bringing you know flowers to their parents. Just different drawings like that. And so it's great to see the artisans. I uh, remember things like that, you know, going out as a kid, enjoying life, you know, and seeing all the, the flowers that are outside as the, the seasons change, bringing flowers back to their mothers during springtime, poppy, poppy flowers, especially too, that are very well known out here. So when they put that into their, their workmanship, their jewelry work, you know, that is what you see, you just beauty outside. And let's talk for a second about the care of Chaco Canyon. I wanted to mention that once in each hour. Jennifer, how do we take care of this jewelry? You get a, a polish rag, a silver polish rag, and you can, uh, you know, wipe it down. Um, some pieces will have little pouches that, you know, that'll help you take care of it. Um, me, I'm old fashioned. I, I wrap all my pieces in uh, leather and because it's easier for me to uh, polish them afterwards. Um, but it just depends on, you know, how you want to take care of your jewelry, your silver jewelry. Do you really, you, you, you keep them all in a leather, like wrap them in leather? Mm -hmm. Little pieces of leather, yes. Oh, I, th I didn't, actually didn't, I learned, I, always learning one thing new about you. <laughs> last time, last show I learned how good you make soup. 
this time. <laughs> Soup and pizza, I, I can make everything, yes. <laughs> I love it, you make me hungry, I love to eat. I can't wait sometime when, when we're allowed to be in the same room together, <laughs> when everybody's allowed to be together again. Um, I do have an update for you, my producer Rob is telling me. What are we updating? Mm. Okay, on the ring, sizes five and six are gone, sold out. Size nine is almost sold out. Let me turn toward you. Um, size nine is almost sold out. And then do we have 11? Why did I feel like 11 was sold out? 11 is sold out as well. Okay. Here's what we have left. Seven, eight, and nine only. Yep, that's it. So I have size seven, eight, and nine only. Here, I wanted to show you like a, this is, I mean, honestly, this is how we wear our jewelry. We wear a ring on every finger. We, we wear kind of, we, we stack it up, we layer it up, we, you know, we put on our favorite pieces. I know you're gonna love this ring. It's only $51.82. And again, it looks like an amazing, like there's so much work done with it. So we're gonna continue on. Speaking of artwork, boy, this next cuff is amazing. And I can't wait, Jennifer, for Jennifer to tell you uh, stories behind this. It looks honestly like a story being told is the wolf cuff. It's 424.75. So you see, here's where it starts. You see the wolf head coming out. Almost looks like it's about to bite uh, that big turquoise stone and it's symmetrical on this side. And in the middle, you have the pack, the wolf pack. So tell us about this. I feel like I'm looking at a story here, Jennifer. Um, the, <laughs> the artisan here is Emerson Del Rito, and um, he's basically, you know, like the leader wolf uh, over at Chaco Canyon. You know, he gives advice. He talks to a lot of the artisans. Um, he loves uh, uh, making jewelry for uh, his customers, especially for women. Um, like I said this time and time again uh, during my first couple of shows, uh, he pulled me aside after I got done talking to the artisans and he told me because you know you you need to wear more jewelry and I had jewelry on during the show but he said you need to wear more you know mm -hmm. that's what makes women you know happy just you know makes them beautiful makes them you know stand out a lot more and you know, smile a lot more, you know, that's what he he loved about it. And, I, rem um, <laughs> I remember you saying that, that someone that he told you that you had to like wear more. <laughs> more, 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 more. more. <laughs> but with the wolf, you know, it's a very strong totem. And um, so when, we, when you see the wolf on there, they're always uh, keeping their, their pack, you know, together and, and keep them protected. You have that strong family unit and also, you know, don't don't get the wolf angry. <laughs> yeah, he looks mad. Look, like he's about to eat yep. the turquoise. That's what. And it's look, it looks like a mommy and daddy wolf, like keeping all mm -hmm. the little wolf babies in, in check. Ones. <laughs> Especially when they start crying. You know, they sound just like little kids. Dude. Bears too, the same way out in the wild. They sound like little baby humans, and Dude. the mother actually go and swat the babies behind, and they stop crying and keep them in order or either grab them by the back of their necks just to keep them in check. And um, it's it's funny to see, you know, animal parents, uh, you know, keeping their kids, you know, on that straight line. Well, I guess I know what that expression, expression weight raised by wolves mean now. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> right? That's a, I, I, didn't, I don't wild. think I've ever heard a wolf like cry. Like I didn't, or I like babies, like I didn't know it sounded like a person. That's interesting. They, yeah, they, they, they cry and when they're together or if they get scared, um, they'll start crying and then they'll, you'll, they'll hear, hear the mother growl like from a distance and um, so when they hear the, the mother growl, they go back into the den, you know, wait for the mom to come back. Mm. But it's it's cute. <laughs> it's cute to hear them. This is this is really incredible. By the way, this fits uh, a wrist of various sizes. So you can have a five and three quarter to a six and a half to a seven. Well, you just you just pull it a little bit. I mean, it's because it's silver, it's soft. So when you you can open it up a little bit and and it'll pop right on. I, I, you know, it'll go right on your wrist. This is big and bold. And I also feel like this also could be unisex, Jennifer, don't mm -hmm. you think? A, a unisex piece and um, for, because for Emerson, he's been working on, uh, on silver since he was like 20 years old. And um, so he's self-taught, he's never bought a new tool. Um, 
he likes to you know talk to different artisans about their tools but he's he's made a lot of his own tools from like rebar or nails from you know the railroad and i've seen him cut little small pieces of you know the designs that he has just like this and have them in little uh, separate cookie tins uh, on his desk and he's very very uh you know, everything's in order and so um it's great to see you know an artisan like that you know keep you know keep on keep going and doing great designs like this you know as they get older and do you see he's got the same original tools that he's al always used and got some mm -hmm. of them like from a railroad like a railroad iron mm -hmm. like a kind of found iron. tools like and made mm -hmm. them into jewelry tools yeah that's to, just amazing just car. amazing <laughs> by the way we're getting we're getting really limited on this this was just created for us here at hsn you can't get it anywhere else we have less than 100 of them and when they sell out that's it no one will ever see them or have them or own them except those of you who are picking them up right here right now uh very limited quantity the item number is seven seven eight seven eight seven five eight seven seven eight seven five eight if you would like to pick them up uh, we do a flex pay, three flex pay of $141.58. But we're going to continue on. Oh, I'm glad I have my ruler here for this. These are the gemstone drop earrings. So let's take a look. So these have a, a significant drop to them. They're, they're three inches. So I wanted you to see that these have a lot of, you know, if you've got like, a, you know, a long neck, you put your hair back in a ponytail, you're boom, that's that's your outfit. So we've got that spiny oyster, that beautiful uh, howlite, the black and white, there's the ceremonial, the green. And then we also have it available in, um, Kingman. And you know what? That's magnesite. I thought it was howlite. It's magnesite. Uh, the, the ring was in howlite. That's magnesite. So very similar look to howlite. So you've got the spiny oyster, the ceremonial turquoise, which is the green one. When you order the green one, that's ceremonial turquoise. Then you have the magnesite and then the the turquoise is Kingman turquoise, which is the only mine currently is as a working mine in the United States right now. So let's let's talk about the and I like I pop these on Jennifer. If you've got long hair like I do, it's like there's a lot of earrings that I see and that I think, oh, I'd really like those, but I feel like they'll kind of get lost. But when you like, you know, you you put your hair up and you've got you know an earring kind of like these really. But if you wear your hair down, sometimes for me, earrings sometimes will get lost. If if it's if they're not but the color pops they have three inches and so it really they really I mean I've got my hair pinned back here but not here you really you really see them they're really like they really pop so let's talk about these Jennifer who is who's the artist on this one the artist in here is Sheena Jack and um, I love these earrings because they're just they're they're very abstract they look like uh, a little painting that's on, hanging on your ears and um you know for the howlite for the spiny oyster for the green turquoise and the kingman turquoise it i it's they're very different colors that you know it comes in but the 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 fact that for the green turquoise uh, for those of you who don't know the meaning behind it, um, they call it ceremonial turquoise. And um, there was a there was a shaman that had gone to the Cayman mine and he had seen a green deposit of turquoise and he seen the brown striations in it. So he thought there were snakes. And so that's why he called it the ceremonial turquoise. Oh, uh, well, again, <laughs> I, I love all these stories. So uh, look at that beautiful color. I love this color. Fall's coming and the spiny oyster is going to look amazing. $125.68 is the price for this. We're now going to talk about, okay, I'm, I'm like a little obsessed. This, this was not supposed to be in our show. My producer and I saw this and we were like, that is so stinking cute. I can't even stand it. It's a little cowboy hat. And I actually saw it in the tray and I thought it was like, oh, this is like a pretty, you know, lots of silver. Then you've got beautiful Sleeping Beauty. I was like, ooh, Sleeping Beauty, turquoise ring. And then look at all that silver for 128.50. And then as I looked at it, it is a cowboy hat. You see this, the shank, the split shank. It's a tri, uh, three strands. There's only 116 of these. And you've got like even the little folds in the top of the hat in the designs in the hat and even the trim of the hat has like a braid all the way around and then see how it's like oxidized right under there. I mean, 
This is just, I think this ring is like genius. And you know what? It is really a super comfortable ring to wear. I, I can't, I can't get enough of this ring. Like this is, I, we're not supposed to play favorites. This is my favorite. <laughs> I, lo I love it. <laughs> I love this because if you're like a cowgirl at heart, you know, this is the, the best ring to have. Uh, now out here in Arizona, a lot of the uh, the concerts are starting to open up and they're, they're having a lot of uh, actually uh, like um, cowgirl concerts, cowboy concerts. And so it's fun to see a ring that's, you know, that it's a representation of something fun and cool and unique. And so this is a... a um, a conversation starter. The artisan here is Annie Spencer, and she's been a, a silversmith with us for a very long time. And it's the first time we're doing something like this. It's very unique, and uh, it's fun because when you see it, it's it makes you giggle because it makes you want to put on some boots, put on a cowboy <laughs> hat, and go out, you know, go shake your stuff. <laughs> well, I feel like jewelry is like meant to make you smile, make you, you know, mm -hmm. and I think there's something like whimsical and has like a, almost like a sense of humor. Obviously a hat would go on your head, not on your hand. And I love the kind of like deconstruction of that with wearable pieces. So that's really, it's just kind of fun. And it's, you know, 925 silver handcrafted here, the, the U.S. hand done. And you tell Annie, I'm a fan. Like this is, this is really, I, I just love it. Like, this is such a conversation starter. If you go somewhere, you're right. If you go to, you know, rodeo or line dancing, but even if you're just like, you know, a country music fan or, or you just love, I mean, I, I actually have a, a cowboy hat and I'm, you know, not, not, I don't go line dancing or anything like that, but I just, I really <laughs> love, I just think it's really fun to have a tiny hat on your, on your ring. I just think it's really amazing. Very limited quantity. Do we still have sizes five through 12, Rob? Or are we losing sizes? Oh, okay. I have five through eight only now. This has been very, this is going very quickly. So I have five, six, seven, and eight <laughs> and now. Nine, 10, and 11, and 12 just sold out. Uh, but again, you could think, I mean, what a gift. I, so many people are buying holiday gifts early because everybody's talking about how there's gonna be shortages of this and that, who knows? You know, I work here, so I hope, I'm hoping we have stuff all the time. But I just, I'm just you know, that would be bad. <laughs> but I'm just saying this that we have this, we don't have anything on air that we don't have in stock. So if you order this, we have one for you and we're going to send it right to your house. Even if you put down one of the flex pays, which is how flex pay works, it's not like layaway. You don't pay off the ring and then you get the little hat. You get the hat right away <laughs> with the $42.83. <laughs> so um, really fun. And don't you think this is a, a conversation started for sure? Last call on size five, by the way. This is about to go. <laughs> it is. So I might would just giggle about or make some jokes or put my hand on top of my head and say howdy, you know, even though you have that hat on there. <laughs> yes, exactly. It, it's you want like some giggles? Tip of the hat. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're already smiling. <laughs> it's such a fun <laughs> ring. I know you guys are going to love it. We keep Write down the item number. Sadly, we don't have a lot of um, sizes left. The item number is 778-813. Jennifer, hang on. We're going to take a teeny little break. We've got lots more beautiful items in a whole other hour with Chaco Canyon Designs, curated by Jennifer Juan. So we'll see you in a sec. One less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Break out your pumpkin spice. It's time for our Fall Harvest Fest. Home decor, kitchen, new fashions, and beauty essentials. Plus, don't miss the Halloween special with Amy and Adam. Starts Friday at midnight on HSN and all weekend long at hsn.com.
host here at HSN, and I want to share with you all some of the great content we have on HSN's Facebook and Instagram pages. Learn some fashion tips and beauty hacks, or just spend time with your favorite hosts. Follow HSN on Facebook and Instagram for giveaways, exclusive access to live events with HSN hosts and your favorite brands, win, share, watch, connect, shop product drops, and more with hashtag LoveHSN. Join in on the fun, and I'll see you there. Hi everybody, my name is Helen Keeney and we're gonna be shopping together for the next hour with Chaco Canyon.